Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be going over Real Mental Patch 64, which will be out in probably the next update I would say. So first up they added doors back to the game. It was in the game back in the day, but they took it out because it was too hard to run, but they've brought it back now, and I would say it's pretty good. There's all kinds of different doors for different kind of houses and apartment buildings and office buildings and fences and refrigerators and garage doors and containers. It's a whole bunch of different doors. And you can open and close pretty much all of them and destroy them also. Shotgun pellets are the most effective to destroy door. Explosives are also very effective against doors. Up next is explosive barrels. It's another part of the dynamic world system that they added. And you could randomly find barrels all around the map and you could just explode them by shooting them. I don't know if you can explode it by punching though, but never know. You can also explode fire extinguishers by shooting them. They've added a rolling animation for prone, and you can do that by holding control, pressing D and A, I believe. It will use your energy up pretty fast too, so I wouldn't recommend doing it a lot. Next up is farming. You can find these random boxes pretty much anywhere around the map, usually behind like these outskirt houses where chickens are and stuff. And how they work is where you find them, you can use them but so can anyone else. So if you plant any crops there, other people can come around and mess with it. So I would recommend making a base, taking the box and putting it in there. Also, if you find one and you wanna just use it there, don't pick it up because you won't be able to place it back. So you would have to place it in your base. And pretty much how they work is you make a sandbag, you put dirt in the sandbag, put it in the box, plant your crop, and then you just add water to it. And they'll usually grow after about 15 minutes. But keep checking them because they could be going bad and you need to add more water. You can also use rotten food you find to fertilize your plants. Next up is another part of the dynamic world system. And it's lights that you can find. Well, candles you can find inside houses. And you can light it and it'll help light up the house you know at dark and stuff looks pretty cool pretty much the same thing goes with the generator house you can make a generator and place it right outside the house by the fuse box and then you can turn it on and it lights up the light in the house only one right now but hopefully there will be more in the future and i don't know how many houses there actually is i think there's only a few though they're not really all over the place Sorry if I sound kind of tired, by the way. It's kind of late. Also, sorry for the late upload. I've been kind of busy this weekend. Yeah, yeah, I know. Excuses, excuses. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. It's not everything, like always, but it's a good chunk. I would really recommend going on the experimental server and testing it for yourself. It's going to be a pretty good update. It's definitely going to be a game changer with all the doors. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, because there will be more especially with this new update, and I'll see you next time.
Also, if you want to join my Discord server, please do because it is really dead and I want more people because my friends make fun of me. Please join.